Hey, good Friday, Calvary family. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Our word of the day comes from the book of Genesis, the entire chapter of 43, chapter 43. And it's actually titled, The Second Visit with His Brothers. Here, just a reminder, today's challenge. If you'll read the entire chapter, it'll remind you of how all of this came about. Famine hit the homeland, and Joseph, whom God had strategically placed to provide for his family, he strategically placed him to where the family was going to be coming to him. And when you commit a sin, you're forgiven. However, sometimes the thought of that sin or that transgression haunts you for a lifetime. And that's what was taking place here. The brothers had come to visit. They had gotten food. And when they were going back, they realized not only did they get food, but they got their money back as well. So Joseph, he could have taken advantages of his brothers. He knew exactly who they were when they came. He could have had them killed. He could have accused them of stealing. But, he, but instead, instead of holding a grudge against them selling him into slavery that started this strategic move for God to place him at the right place at exactly the right time because he was God's chosen. Notice the compassion of Joseph throughout this chapter. Joseph had not only for the family, but how he continually asked, how is the elder of the family? In other words, he's asking, how's my dad doing? But he didn't tell them who he was. He hadn't revealed himself to them. But when they came back the second time, there was a demand because they had let him know that there was another brother, Benjamin. And Joseph had demanded, you bring him back. You bring all of the family back. And when he laid eyes on all of the family, boy, was he touched. Matter of fact, he had to excuse himself. And I don't know if you've ever been in one of those situations where he just got overwrought by emotion. I think that was Joseph in this situation when he's looking strategically at himself, knowing he held their future in his hands, but he chose to be compassionate. Matter of fact, he set them in birth order. And at Benjamin being the baby, I'm the baby of the family. I don't know about you. Being the baby of the family has advantages. He actually got five times the portion. Now, I'm not saying that that's a good thing that the baby ought to always get five times, but Joseph chose to honor the family by honoring every one of the brothers. You know, one of the things that I noticed out of respect, they returned what was not theirs. They could have, they could have not said one word about it, but when they were invited to go and meet with Joseph, they realize, uh-oh, we've been caught. Somebody set us up. But they really didn't. He did, but he didn't. But what did they do? They made the choice to do something different this time. Joseph noticed the difference. Instead of selling someone into slavery, they came clean. They returned the dollars that they had paid for the food the first time, and they paid for the food the second time. As a result, forgiveness was offered family was begun to be restored. Can I just tell you, if you have ever or come to the understanding or realization that you received maybe standing in a line and someone gives you the wrong amount of change back, make sure that you give it back to them because it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the owner of the company. And by the way, everything that we have belongs to God. God owns all of the resources. Beautiful picture of restoration. Beautiful picture of how God put people in place to complete his plan. Hope you have a great day. Will you join me in prayer? Father, you always, always, always provide for us. And Father, before uh, these men even realized what was happening, you were putting um, into place a plan of redemption and salvation for their entire family. And so, Father, we thank you that you put into place a plan of salvation through your son, Jesus Christ, that each one of us, Lord, can reach out to you. We don't deserve salvation, but God, you offered as a free gift to us. In Jesus' strong name we pray, amen. Have a fantastic Friday and the rest of your weekend. See you in worship this weekend.